Welcome to MAT2LB, booklet number eight, fractions, lesson number two, converting mixed fractions. So, as it says in the lesson, a part of working with fraction is being able to manipulate them from one form to the other. And when we say that, what we mean is how do we interchangeably move between mixed fractions and improper fractions? And here in our little understanding section, I want you to notice that when we're talking about mixed fractions and we're talking about improper fractions, we're actually talking about the exact same amount of stuff. So let's use this graphic here to help us um, sort of understand that a little bit better. So here we have 1 and 1 sixth, that's our first one, and beside it we have 7 sixths. That's two different ways of saying the same thing. Um, so again, just to quickly recap, the denominator tells us how many pieces each hole is broken up into. So with the denominator of six, what it's telling us is there are one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that make up this whole circle right here. So that's what the denominator tells us. The numerator tells us literally how much stuff we have of those six potential pieces. So if we look at one and one sixth, we're talking about one whole amount. So let's highlight that one whole amount, that's this, whole one right here all filled in and then one piece of another pie that has six potential pieces so we have one whole pie and one sixth of one pie let's look at the second scenario it's telling us we have seven sixths what that means is we have to count up as many pieces as we have which is one two three four five six seven pieces again six making up the whole first pie and then one slice out of another six slice pie two different ways of saying the same thing. We need to be able to interchangeably move between them. We need to be able to how to change one and one sixth into seven sixth and how to take seven sixth and turn them into one and one sixth. That's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's convert the following mixed number to an improper fraction. And here's our first example, two and one third. So our first step is to multiply our numerator, or rather to multiply our whole number by our denominator. So we're going to just highlight those so that we can see them. We're going to take this number here and we are going to multiply it by this number here. So that's going to be our denominator is 3, our whole number is 2, and when we multiply those together we get 6. That's our first step. Our second step is to take our product which means the answer of 3 times 2. And then we are going to add it to our numerator. So we're going to take the answer here, this answer, and we are going to add it. So our answer was 6. There it is. That's where it came from. That's our 6. And we're going to add it to our numerator, which is 1. And that's going to give us 7. At this point, we take that answer and we write it as our new numerator, so 7, and we keep the old denominator all the way from the top. Again, I'll draw a little line over here so we can see where it came from. Old denominator kept. And that's the procedure. That's where sort of how it moves. That's where all the numbers come from. So let's do a second example here together, and we'll let you guys try B on your own. So we are going to convert 3 and 1 half to an improper fraction. So first step, we are going to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So in this case, that's going to give us denominator is 2 times 3 is going to equal 6. Next step, we're going to take that 6 and we are going to add it to our numerator. And there it is. So we are going to take our 6. We're going to add it to 1. That's going to give us 7. And then we take that answer, which is 7, and we're going to put it over the old denominator. And the old denominator was 2. So we have 7 over 2. And again, just so we can see this, we're going to write 3 and 1 half equals 7 over 2, just to set it up nicely. So that's our first example. What I'd like you to do here is hit pause, and I'd like you to try to convert 1 and 7 eighths. That's example B on your own. Come on back when you've got it done, and we'll see how you did. Okay, you've tried 1 and 7 eighths. Let's see how you did. First things first, we're going to multiply our denominator by our whole number, which is going to give us 
8 times 1, that's going to give us 8. In our next step, we are going to add that product, that answer, to our numerator. And our numerator is 7, so we have 8 plus 7, that's going to give us 15. And then we write that number, that's our new numerator, that's 15, over our old denominator, which is 8. And then we write it out as 1 and 7 eighths equals 15 over 8. So that's how we go about converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. What about the other way, though? The back end of this lesson is going to be how do we convert from improper fractions back to mixed numbers? So again, let's do an example here together, maybe a couple, and then we'll let you try one on your own. So we're going to undo. We did some multiplying and some adding. We're going to do some dividing in this particular step or in this particular conversion. So here's the mixed fraction, or rather the improper fraction that we have, 7 over 2. How do we go about converting this back to a mixed number? First thing you do, according to this, is we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So our numerator is 7. Let's get 7 in there. We're going to take 7, and we're going to divide it by our denominator, which is 2. We're going to take 7, and we're going to divide it by 2, and it's going to give us... 3. That's going to give us some change as well. And what is the remainder going to be when we have 3 as our whole number? We're going to have a remainder of 1. A remainder of 1. So at this point, we have all the information already that we need in order to create our mixed number. Our mixed number is going to be this value right here. This is our whole number. It's going to go out front. That is our 3. Again, that came from here, the uh, quotient or the answer to our division. We're going to take our original denominator. That's this guy right here. And that becomes our denominator. That's going to be 2. And we take our remainder. There's our, whoops, wanted a highlighter there. Our remainder becomes our new numerator. So 3 and 1 half is equal to 7 over 2. And again, you can check this if you like by going in the other direction and converting it back into an improper fraction, but this procedure will work. The tricky part, in my opinion, is this piece right here where you're being asked to both divide and then catch the remainder. That's the tricky part. So we're going to watch that one as we try our next example. So our next example is to convert 9 over 5 to a mixed fraction. <clears throat> first step. First step says we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we're going to take our 9, whoops, I'm looking for a pencil. There's 9. We're going to divide it by 5. And 9 divides into 5 once with a remainder of 4. So now, again, we have all the information we need to start building our mixed fraction. This is going to be our whole number right here. So our whole number is going to be 1. Our denominator, go to the old denominator. It was a 5. That means our new denominator will also be 5. And our remainder will become our new numerator. So there's our remainder, new numerator. And again, just to make it pretty, we will write then 9 over 5 equals 1 and 4 fifths. So this is how you convert a mixed, or rather an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. I'd like you guys to try B here on your own. Give B a try. When you're all done, come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, last example. Starting with division, we are going to divide our numerator by our denominator. And 13 is divided by 3 four times with a remainder of 1. From here, we have all that information that we need. First things first, we are going to take our whole number, which was the quotient of our division. Put it in. There's our 4. The old denominator is a 3. And the remainder is our new numerator. And we are going to, just so we write this out, so we can see the conversion, 13 over 3 is equal to 4 and 1 third.
And that's how you convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. Now there was a lot of different steps, a lot of different processes happening here in this lesson. If you're not sure of any of these steps, go back, try them again inside the lesson. When you're ready, head off to the worksheet, and then we will see you in lesson number three.